these were hit people wanted to know how to make these and I know you guys have been asking too so I thought I would break this down because uh, they're very actually they're very simple to make and decorating them is what you have on hand so um, we'll get to it let me start I'm going to share the template first and I will take a picture of this um, at the end so you've got it because it's easier to um, see these whoops sorry let me get this up here so I will have a still picture of this but this is really what we're going to be making and then the cardstock is going to measure at nine and three quarters by three and a half and then we're going to do some scoring on the long side and scoring on the short side and then I'm going to show you how to do little divots there to make it um, go together much easier okay so again I'm going to take a picture of this at the end but I'm going to show you how to put it together hey Tia okay let's get busy so let me put this aside and grab this so we're gonna do some scoring to start with so um, like I said this sheet is going to measure nine and three quarters okay oh <laughs> you like my nail there yeah we had our Christmas pictures taken today um, Frank was very naughty at pictures today. <laughs> the poor photographer um he just was being a pill and I had a Christmas hat that I wanted him to wear that he wears at home just fine and he just acted like a really naughty two-year-old so <laughs> we'll see if she can get any of them to come out um but yes I had to get my nails done so they matched our outfits so yes very festive thank you so um nine and three quarters and three and a half is what we're going to start with Okay, and I'm going to do all of the long scoring first. So when you see the sheet, when it comes back, this is what I mean by the long side. Let me see if I can get the cutter in here. So the first scoring we're going to do is one and a quarter. Oh, and you guys got to stay till the end because I have such exciting news. I promise. I was excited because <laughs> Santa came early, right? So one, so we're going to do one and a quarter and then three three and a quarter and then four and a half so I'll make sure I get my measurements right six and a half whoop I gotta get the kickstand out <laughs> like yes isn't that nice that Stampin' Up! makes cards back to match my nails <laughs> that is a good one I should have told um my nail um I would like real red please and they're gonna like we don't have real red yes you do <laughs> next measurement is six and a half and then seven I'm sorry I just saw that the I'm shaking the table because I score so aggressively seven and one eighth and nine and one eighth okay so now I'm going to turn it to the short side and I'm going to do one and a quarter okay one and a quarter and two and a quarter okay and then i'm gonna put the trimmer aside hey francis i see peggy yay good morning in australia yes it is trying to snow desperately here it sounds like we're gonna be below zero this week so it's time to put on the long underwear i guess <laughs> okay so now we have all of this scoring goodness. Now we're gonna do some cutting and I want you to pay attention on this side. Do you see how these squares are much smaller than over here? This is how I keep track of where I'm going to cut, okay? So we're gonna take our snips and we're gonna cut one of these little corners off, like so. And again, I have a picture that I'm gonna show at the end too. Yes, Peggy. Hello. How are you? Okay. One cut so far. Now we're going to only leave this. So if you don't like to waste paper, yep, this might drive you insane because the part we're cutting off, we're not going to use. But um, even in between those score marks, you could make some tags out of these. I throw them aside and actually use my little tag dies. To use up these scraps okay okay so that's our first major 
I wondered, Denise, if you guys were hitting it because Michael looked at the radar and it didn't look very good to the west. But it looks like we're on the bottom of it. So, okay, so there's our first cut. Okay, now the second cut, we're going to go back to this little side again. So remember, I had this little side up here. We're going to cut these three squares off. Okay. And um, I actually found this idea from a lady by the name of Darby Witter. I think it's Whittier. And um, I tweaked some of it a bit. Oh, that was me bad. talking and chewing gum again. <laughs> I got to cut those three squares off. Okay. So now it looks like this weird contraption. It looks like a, a weird Lego or something. I don't know. But yes. So here's where we're going to start to do a little bit of cutting because we're going to save the rest of it now. Now I found that um, you're going to cut in here all of these to that, that score mark right across the middle. And I'm standing up so I can be really close to the camera. So hopefully it's coming through. Okay. So you got these little wingdings. I find that it goes together easier if you take little um, triangle pieces out of the smaller squares, okay? And it's just for the folding, it doesn't, it doesn't get so bulky. And just the small ones. And it doesn't matter how much you take out because you're not gonna see it anyway. It's just so it goes together better, okay? Look at there, we're almost there. So now I'm going to take my little two-sided tape and I need, I'm going to take three little pieces. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to pull this up so you can see where we're putting the tape. And I highly recommend using tape and not um, snail because you want to make sure that these hold together and the snail over time is going to release. So make sure you're using double-sided tape or glue that you hold make steady. So we're gonna put glue here, or sorry, tape here and tape on the end. And this is how we're gonna hold that box together. Actually, yeah, I wanna do this one. When I found this, it looked complicated at first, but once you once you make one or two, it you get the pattern down. And it's very easy, and I like that all it is is a piece of cardstock. I mean, you don't need any other supplies. And as I show you, we're gonna use these for multiple occasions, which is the other surprise. Hang tight here. She's, yeah, she cut my nails a little bit too short, so now I can't grab the tape. <laughs> okay, so we have our adhesive there. So we're gonna start bending everywhere we see a score mark. And if you think about, we're making a box, so you just keep folding in, folding in, folding in. Okay, so you're going to see it start coming together. Now, my helpful hint here, this little tab on the end, make sure it's folded in good because I already took the adhesive off. Okay, so I want to make sure that it doesn't stick until I'm ready. So we're going to come all the way back to this side and match this up to our adhesive. Presto. Okay, you with me so far? And then now this one is gonna go stick right there. So now you can see the basis of our box, okay? Now this one, I like to use a little bit more tape and I'm gonna cut a bigger piece. And I found that it sits down a little bit better with a little bit more adhesive. Cause you could really, you know, we all make boxes, right? You could put this down, put this over and tape that down. What I found, it was kind of um, bouncy when I turned it over. So I like to put a piece in here to hold these two tabs down with the other piece. So bear with me here. Hopefully I can get this piece off. Hopefully everyone's having a good Sunday. It's all good, right? So this flap goes down, okay? I'm gonna just keep turning it around so you can see how it's coming apart. Or coming together, not apart. And then I'm gonna take a piece here and put it across the bottom there. All right. And then oh, something's stuck there. And this one goes down. 
aren't they cute? That's that's the prim that that's the premise of this project. So you've got your box. Now it's doing um the decorating part. So now I'm going to bring in two things. This one I know is retire. It's the corner rounder. Hopefully you have it because I I use it all the time and it, you could leave these square and pointed, but I just thought they looked a little bit cuter round. And even if I uh don't have this round, look at it's Donnie. Hey Donnie. Let's not come on Facebook Live. <laughs> so <laughs> it wouldn't be a crumb live if we didn't have an animal in the video, right? Okay, so there's the round piece. Now, the decorating piece, I will post measurements on these. But what I did, who is loving this paper? Hmm? This is part of the surprise. So I know I showed you some Christmas theme ones, but I'm like, you know what? Valentine's is right around the corner. And I'm going to show you a little bit more Valentine here. Look at there. Heart. So now this one is just going in the handle part. So I'm just going to put a little adhesive here. And it goes right down here for your decoration. And if you wanted to do this before you assemble the box, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Put that in there. Okay. Oh, that's getting ready to go to work. Yes. The work week has begun for you already. Okay, I'm going to just do this one because I like to do it on both sides. So it doesn't matter whoever's looking at it, they're going to get a view on each side. Okay. Is anyone going to guess what the surprise is? Some of you that stopped yesterday, I told you that I was going to have a surprise this week. I didn't think it was going to be till Tuesday, but it was waiting for me when I got home. Isn't it cute? Look at that. So now you're going to stick this little punch and you can use any kind of, if you have a circle, a square, any kind of punch, it's just kind of to give it a handle. Okay. And there's that. So now, um, when Darby did this on her videos, she cut down pieces on each side. I yeah, I like to make it a little bit more simple. So I did one whole piece and I actually taped the whole thing. Now, if you like to use your supplies, this will probably drive you over the wall because I'm going to use this big of a piece of tape. But I want it to stick all the way around and it's easier. Oh, new stamp. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> you guys are good. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did get a box of new goodies and I'm using one right now. So this heart paper is what I'm going to show you when we're done. But we got to get our project done first, right? As, as our parents always said, you got to get your work done before you play. So we got this one. Oh, this paper is so cute. And now I'm going to cut this one just a little bit because I cut the piece too long. We don't have to, you don't have to keep going around. Okay. And then we finish it like so. And what you do, um, you could cover these candies, but I like to, when they're gold and silver like this, they're, it's kind of nice to leave them. Let, let Hershey do the decorating for us. And it takes four little nuggets. Isn't that cute? But as you see, this is a Valentine one. And yes, I got a very large box, 33 pounds of stamping goodies yesterday. It was supposed to be here Monday. <laughs> so we're, I'm going to show you a little bit if that's okay. Yes. So um, this is part of the new Valentine suite that's coming up and I bought everything in it. So that's what I wanted to show you tonight. But look at how easy this is. But I want to go back to the Christmas ones before we get into the new stuff, right? So this is the plaid paper that is in the holiday catalog. And I love this. And I do believe, I want to say it might be close to being sold out. But this again, makes the cutest little holiday gifts and yesterday people were buying these for co-workers um they wanted to give it to their mailman things like that but very easy and it's very it's easy to you know put in your purse and you can give it to anyone i like to keep these in the curvy keepsake the mini keepsakes that i showed you i do keep those and i was telling yesterday people are like what do you do with these 
And myself, I'm a Starbucks junkie, so I go to Starbucks quite a bit. And I gift these, so when I'm going through the drive through I give little treats like this to my servers, um, the baristas, all those good people that help that kind of get overlooked during the holidays. <laughs> And when we go out to dinner, I will leave them with the, the check. But it, it's just a little something to say, hey, I appreciate you. And I can't believe how much they appreciate knowing that you made something and gave it to them. But um, this is just using the paper. And then I found we didn't have really shiny bells. Um, we do have really tiny ones in the catalog. But I just went to Michael's and got these because I just wanted a little bit more bells. Okay, and then this one I had... These. I was telling people stories yesterday. I got these at Crafters Direct in Waite Park and um, I bought them out. I went in. <laughs> she said, we have 11 bags left. I literally went through the whole store and found all 11 bags because I needed to have these trees. So they had a package of um, their multi trees like this. And then they had a single tree, which I see I don't have out, but they're just cute wooden trees. Oh, here. Look at my goodie. I can show you all these. So they had packages of snowflakes and multi-trees that were already cut and they were already half off. So I needed them. <laughs> but aren't they just the cutest? And yeah, they were quite a hit yesterday. So thanks to those if you're watching and you were there. Thank you. Oh, I see Barb's on. But yes, very cute. Okay, so now should we go back to this? This little goodie. So I want to show you this sweet. You know I can't show you the inside of the catalog, but I can show you everything that I bought. We're going to take a little dive into it tonight.